Hi guys and happy Tuesday. On today's video, I am going to wind down my day by putting some Blue Magic Indian Hemp hair grease on my scalp. Alright, so I'm not going to take my braids down or anything. I had um, shampooed my hair about five days ago and I moisturized and sealed it with Morris Lane Luster uh, moisturizer and I sealed it with my other hair grease was which is super sure grow the reason why i'm not showing the Morris Lane luster in this video is because it's no longer for sale and when you do find it they going the, the seller is going to charge you out the wazoo and it's just not fair so just in case you don't know what the blue magic indian hemp looks like that's what it looks like in the jar it's kind of green it's got like little baby seeds in it so um i didn't grease my scalp when i did my hair so you know what let me do this i'm going to take a little a little bit like that and just go through all my braids after this I'm going to hop in the in the tub and unwind and get in the bed but I miss putting grease on my scalp because I find myself wanting to scratch and itch and I don't want to do that and there's something about putting hair grease on my scalp it makes me feel very 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 relaxed I think I did that part already somebody was saying how come you don't rub it in? How come you don't rub it in your scalp? Like like your mom and your auntie used to do? Just scrub it in there? I don't know. I don't really see the purpose of doing it. But I'm going to rub it in today though. Because I don't want it to be sitting on my scalp when I get in the tub or in the bed. Or wherever I want to get into. But I had a good day today. It is now 5.20 p.m. And I'm just ready to just shut it down. I've been up since this morning and I'm tired. I don't know if you all can tell or not. <laughs> Is this a braid or a twist? Oh, these are twists. I'm going to go down each twist to one by one. by one. And I was, I don't feel like taking these down. I need to take this one down though. I don't like how it's sitting out off the side of my head like that. You don't always need a comb. To grease your scalp, just use your fingers, pull your hair apart with your fingers and finger part. It's much easier and faster. And less breakage. So they say, they see it that. I don't know who be saying that. Somebody be saying it. It's less breakage. How you know? Sure, you don't know nothing. But I do find that it is less breakage because you're not ripping through your hair with a comb. Where we at? There we are. Well, my mama used to say, you be putting all that goo, all that goo gobble stuff in your head, girl. Whatever. So I'm going to really twist this one because it was too loose. And it's going to give a fresher look up here. I'm thinking if I'm doing this, I may as well do all of them. But that would be too much like right, right? <laughs> or maybe I could just do the front too. We'll see. Because I'm lazy, I'm sleepy, and I don't feel like it. Alright, so I'm going to take this one down anyway. It would only make sense. But if you don't know me, and if you're new to my channel, sometimes I don't do stuff that makes sense. Because it ain't always got to make sense for it to be right. <laughs> oh, I see some more great family members. I will be saying a prayer for them later on in life. Because they're going to have a funeral. I don't, I don't, I, I don't like them invading my hair space like this. Let's put some grease right here. Put some grease right here. Ah, it feels so good. This doesn't have any kind of um, menthol, menthol in it. So it's not tingly or anything. But it just feels good to have hair grease on my scalp. And by me putting it, putting it in my twist like this, it's giving my hair a deeper shine. It's bringing back that moisturizing look. I had when I first shampooed my hair on wash day. That's one thing about moisturizing and sealing. It doesn't take much to bring back that shine after a few days of being dry. Normally the outside hair is dry, not the inside. But I used the sulfate shampoo. Um, when I did shampoo my hair, what did I use? What did I shampoo my hair with? Oh, I think I used herbal essence. Um, my fruity one. Yeah, I use my fruity one because it has 
mimosa and mint and peaches or something. I don't know. I can't remember. But it really felt good on my scalp and cleaned my hair pretty good. I'm going to make sure I get my ends a little bit more on this one because this one feels a little dry. The other one didn't feel so dry. Okay. Two horns. So I think my left side still a little shorter than the right side. So eventually I'm going to even them off as my hair grows. That looks better already. A little grease can really make your hair bounce back. Just a little bit of hair grease. So uh, how many do I have? I have five. No, I have, yeah, I got six more to go. This is how healthy hair looks. You don't see a lot of breakage up here. Like when you smooth your hair out, you don't see a lot of pop, 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 little hair popping up. That's how you know you have nice, healthy hair. And my hair is healthy because I don't do much to it. I don't know, I would like to add some heat to it. I would like to add some heat to this hair. I want to flat out my hair. <laughs> I know I said in my recent video that I get tired of my hair looking like this, but goodness. After, after, you know, going, after I got hired at my new job, I ain't even thought about my hair. All I thought about was going to sleep. I've just been so tired. So, I'm glad I'm putting some grease on my hair now. And I'm just going to finger through and add a little oil on my scalp. Just a little bit. Somebody left a comment the other day saying, I thought hair grease was bad for your hair. Doesn't it have petroleum in it? Uh, who makes that? I'm like, here we go with a new person because she wouldn't be saying it on my channel if she was a familiar greasy baby. Okay? We don't go by those rules no more. We do. We want to do our hair grease. Besides, everybody on YouTube now is saying use hair grease. I wonder where they got that from. They got it from the number one greaser, baby. <laughs> Whatever. Follow the trend. I I wasn't never trendy with it. I, I always stayed by it. Now it's trendy to use hair grease. Whatever. You know what, guys? Let me tell you. When I had shampoo to condition my hair and um, last Thursday, when I tell you, girl, my hair is so thick. Now, I've always had thick hair. And I've always thought I had medium thick hair, but after I got through shampoo and conditioned my hair the other day, I'm like, man, your hair is thick. And I, and I know it's because I used a protein treatment recently. But the other thing is, I cut my hair. <laughs> I cut it last year in April, and I cut it again. I cut, I clipped the ends again in um, December of 2020. And when I was combing through the hair, the hair was like, Ugh. it was, ooh, it was bouncing back. I said, go on, girl. Go on, go on, little nappy head, little girl. <laughs> People be saying, well, how did you get your hair so thick? Well, first of all, this is my hair. I have thick hair. I was born this way. Uh, that's that's the number one reason. But by me taking care of my hair, that's why my hair is thicker. But I notice whenever I cut it, when I cut my hair up into the good part, that's when I see a really good thickness. Yes, it's shorter, but it is thicker. And I'm like, man, this hair is thick. And it curled back, like if I pull my hair down while I was wet with the conditioner in it, it will bounce back so pretty and tight, like way up, <laughs> sponged up to my head. So guys, if you are a person who wants your hair thicker and you're afraid to cut your hair a little bit, just go on and do it anyway. Because it pays off in the end. Then it grows back thicker when you do. So if you want a good, good start of thick hair, Cut it higher than your split ends. Cut above the split ends and then cut a little bit higher into the healthy hair. You'll be like, whoo, my hair is thick. But you know how we are as women, honey. We do not want to see no short hair on our heads. Let me get back here. And sometimes we slow ourselves down by not cutting our hair. We always worried about length. I got like two videos I want to do. Is it two? Yeah, two videos. Two ideas I want to do, and I'm going to, I think I'm going to do them, but I want to do them when I'm nice and fresh and vibrant and not tired. 
Because right now, I don't want no makeup on my face, on my eyes, because my eyes are weighing down kind of heavy. Don't know if the video is going to work because you just never know what you, with YouTube what people like. And I don't really have creators burnt out like I had last year. Last year, I was like, I wish I would post another Now Turn video. I quit. <laughs> you know, sometimes in life, you just need a break from everything and everybody. And if you don't get that break, you start lashing out and having behavior problems and stuff. I've been seeing a few YouTubers saying they, they're having uh, creators burnt out too. Doing the same thing over and over and over and over. Whoa, what is that? That's a... Is that a gray hair? That is a gray hair. Here it is, right here. Okay, oh. Can you see it? Here it is. So I'm getting into a rhythm of having a new kind of schedule, a new life. Because when I get off work, I want to come home and go to sleep so hard. First, I talk to my friends and family, and then I go to bed really hard. Knowing I should be going to bed really hard and talk to them later. Or don't talk to them until after 5 o'clock. That's what I need to do. I need to come home, um, take care of my business, go to bed, and do my YouTube, clean my house. Then when I finish, after I take my nap, once I finish, then talk to people. Because they... Talking to your friends and family, honey, it's slowing you down. So what I'm going to do with these in the back, I'm not going to take these down. Because I just, like I said, I don't feel like it. Did I do this already? I don't feel like it. I'm just going to go down the, the shaft of the twist. And then poke my fingers on the inside of them. Like, you know how you do turkeys? You stuff stuff in the butter and oil and stuff. I'm going I'm to I'm stuff my turkey with hair grease. Just like this. It's called the Easy Greasy Baby Way. Easy Greasy Baby Way. This way you don't have to take down your hair and retwist and all this other stuff. Because my hair is in a ponytail anyway when I'm at work. I need to do this one all over again, but I'm not. I'm just going to add some hair grease to the back and poke it with some grease instead of taking it all down. And this is called half acid. Have you heard your mom and dad or your grandparents or somebody older saying, look, don't come over half-ass and do the, if you're going to do the job, do the job right. Well, what is right to you? Because I'm half-assing today. The goal is to get my hair, scalp, my, get my scalp grease. And if I can do that without taking my hair down, I am going to do it. I'm going to poke a hole in it just like this. You ain't got to take it all the way down. You ain't got to take it all the way down, girl. Especially when you tire it. I'm tired. Pump it up, pump it up, just don't stop. Because it shouldn't have to take that long to oil no hair. Shouldn't, it shouldn't when you're tired. Especially when you're tired. All right, so I'm going to go down the shaft of this little twist. Like so. Make sure I get my ends. Going on to the side. I'm going to poke a hole in like a turkey. I'm going to put this stuffing in there. Put the stuffing in the turkey, girl. Put the stuffing in the turkey. So I'm learning now that if I go this way and stick grease in my hair. I'm going to have to go on the other side of my twist and do that too because I'm not reaching all the way in side of the twist because it's so thick and puffy like like I did my other twist a few minutes ago. All right so I went in this way and I'm going in this way the other side. You probably saying well Nancy you could have went on and just took your hair down and did it right the first time. Girl I don't want to do it right the first time. I want to do it right the second time. All right I'm finished. I'm saving myself an extra step of twisting. I don't want to twist. No more hair. Alright, we got one more little boot right here. This is where my hair is usually thinner. See how it gets thinner on the ends? But it's it's okay. It's, it's a different texture and it's happy hair now. So I got it thicker than it normally would be and I'm happy. I am happy. Got one more to go. Put some up here at the top. And just feel my way through and keep it moving. So this is a little bitty twist. So guys, I hope you're having a really good day. I'm having a good day so far. Although daylight savings, they make me tired. Because the time just went up Sunday, two days ago. We get more daylight in the evening time, which I really appreciate. I'm, I'm ready to lay down after I get out the, out the shower. 
and I'm done. All right, guys. So hope you like this little winding down with the greasy baby video, girl. You winding down with your greasy auntie, your greasy mama, your greasy sister, or maybe your greasy brother. Okay. Ooh. All right, guys. So my hair looks like. So if you like this video, make sure you thumbs up, leave a comment, share all the other good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.